In this video, I'm going to show you how to dump a BIOS from a PS2 Slim. So it's been about three years since my last PS2 BIOS dump tutorial, and that one was focused on modding your system and on a FAT. Since then, there's been a number of different developments in the PS2 scene, including an easy way to run homebrew on all slimline model PS2s, and that is why we are focusing on this guy today. So basically what we're going to do is burn a DVD that runs on our PS2 that loads up Launch Elf for us to run our BIOS dumping utility. So let's go ahead and talk about some prerequisites. First up, a PS2 Slim. Yes, you need a PS2 to dump a PS2 BIOS from. The, uh, they're kind of in the system. But doesn't need to be modded. It could be just a stock Slim model like this one here. Next... A computer with a DVD drive that can burn DVD minus R's. Yes, you do need a DVD drive because we have to burn a DVD to run on the PS2. So, that brings us to our next prerequisite: DVD minus R. This is some. Uh, this is a verbatim model here, a little bit higher quality than what you find in Memorex, but imagine most should work. If not, you might need to get a little bit higher quality, like verbatim. So DVD minus R, not plus or plus, nah. not DVD plus R, not DVD plus RW, just a DVD minus R. And then our last prerequisite is a USB drive that works on a PS2 console formatted to FAT32. PS2 USB ports can be a little bit picky, but I found that a lot of these like mini SanDisk ones work pretty well. I also have a Transcend USB 3.0 um, SD card reader and this has worked on all PS2 models that I've ever tried it on so that's another option but I'll put a link in the description to some of these SanDisk drives for you to pick up if you need to all right so first things first just get your PS2 hooked up I'm gonna be running this through composite video through the uh, RetroTINK 5X and I've heard people mention in my previous video that using component cables can cause some video dropouts. I've never experienced that personally whenever I've done this, but do be aware of that. You might need to switch over to composite so you can see everything. Or you could just wait about six minutes after the program starts and uh, just to be sure you can check and see if uh, the BIOS is dumped to the USB. But anyway, we're getting ahead of ourselves. All right. After the PS2 is hooked up, all we need to do is uh, prepare our USB drive and our DVD. All right, so over on our computer, we need to go to the PCSX2 website. And once you're here, head over to the download section and go to Tools. And we are looking for the BIOS Dumper Binary 2.0. So just click Download here in the bottom right-hand corner of this little box. The next thing we could do while we're here is actually download PCSX2 as well. That way we could be sure that after we dump our BIOS file, it's going to work. So I'm just going to grab the uh, latest nightly here. And the last thing we need to get is free DVD boot from CTURT. As always, links to all of this stuff is going to be in the description. So go check that out and find the ones you need. But free DVD boot is honestly some of the coolest PS2 homebrew that there is, really. It's just so cool. It really allows you to easily mod any Slim PS2 and some versions of the FAT. Like, again, we're focusing on the Slim here because it will work on all Slim consoles. But if you check your DVD firmware on your PS2, you can also find pre-built ISOs for different models. But anyway, for our purposes, all you need to do is go to this main GitHub page. Just scroll down and click download pre-built ISO all PS2 Slims English language ISO. And with that, we have downloaded all the files we need to get a PS2 BIOS. All right, from here, insert a blank DVD minus R into your computer. And also get your USB drive inserted into your computer as well. So first thing we're gonna do here, minimize that real quick. So the first thing we're going to do here is burn our all PS2 Slims English language ISO to our DVD disc that we just put into our computer. So I use Image Burn. This has been very successful for me over the years. Other people have not had success with Image Burn. Have used other dirt and have used other burning programs. So just use what you got. It should work fine. 
If not, try something else, or you might need to get slightly higher quality discs. Hard to say, really. It's so many factors. But anyways, I'm just going to tell it to write that image file. So I'm just going to go to desktop, select the image. I'm going to put my write speed at my lowest supported write speed. Unfortunately, this disk drive's slowest speed is 8x, so it's a little bit faster than you really want for good burns, but oh well. And we're just going to let it go ahead and do its thing. I don't need to verify the disk. This is a one and done. I'm going to tell it to eject the tray when it's done. But anyway, let's go ahead and get that PS2 BIOS dumper program ready to go as that disk burns. So it comes in a 7-zip format. So if you don't have 7-zip installed or a way to extract 7-zip files, install 7-zip. Because then all you need to do is 7-zip and extract it here. And once the folder is extracted, we just need to open it up. And there is a dump bios-mass.elf. And we just need to put this on our FAT32 formatted PS2 drive. So I put mine in, it auto popped up. And this is the same drive I used for my PS2 RetroArch tutorial, so I already have a bunch of stuff on here. So all we need to do now is just dump the dump bios dash mass elf file onto the USB drive. Doesn't matter where on the USB drive, just Put it somewhere and that's good to go so we can go ahead and close out of that and we can close out of this that's that's all ready i'm just going to go ahead now and get pcsx2 extracted so we'll be ready when uh, the bios dumping is complete Ta -da. and then how's that disc burning going all right it's uh, just finishing it up right now cool oh so happy when it finishes burning a disc it just makes you feel so good inside all right, so next up, we're going to take the disc we just burned and pop it into our PS2 Slim. Just like that. Now, take your USB drive and put it also into your USB Slim. Shouldn't matter your USB port, just put it on in there. And then uh, switch over to the capture card here real quick. So... Again, this is all being done on a RetroTINK 5X. We're going to give Mike the credit he deserves because this thing is awesome. So that RetroTINK 5X emblem is staying up there for the rest of the video. But from here, go ahead and get your PS2 powered on. And if everything goes according to plan, it should boot right up into Launch Elf. Just like that, yay. Now, just as a quick heads up, if for whatever reason it doesn't work right, there are a number of troubleshooting things you could read through on the GitHub page here. Go through those. I am not someone that will troubleshoot this program for you. I can only show you what it's supposed to be doing. So follow through on this stuff, see if that helps you out. For example, I kept getting the unable to read disk thing, so I actually had to, uh, open up my PS2 and tweak the potentiometer for the laser to get this to work originally. So, I mean, things happen. I'm going to have to ask you to go through this and try to work it out because I'm not able to troubleshoot your PS2, your discs, or anything like that. That's all going to be on you. But once you're in Ulaunch Elf, press circle to go to file browser on your controller. Whoops, went a little too far for me. If it does that, just press triangle to go back up. But we need to scroll down to where it says mass here. That is your USB drive. So press circle on this. And find your dump bios-mass.elf that you placed on this USB drive earlier. And press circle to open it. And once the program starts up, it is already dumping your BIOS files to your USB drive. So just sit back and wait for it. It doesn't take that long. It only takes about five-ish minutes, if that. No, not even that. Look at that. We're already halfway done. But once you get to where everything is green and nothing else has popped up, you're done. So that was actually less than a minute, it felt like, to be honest. So... Cool deal. All right, so now that that program is done running, we're just gonna turn off the PS2 here. Take the USB drive out. It's the thing that sucks about these small ones, it's hard to get out of the slims. 
and then just pop it back into your computer. And when your USB drive pops up, it will be filled with new BIOS file dumps that you just got from your PS2. Paste those to the desktop here real quick, and I'm going to close out of the USB drive. You can close out of Image Burn 2. All right, so remember that PCSX2 install that we just downloaded? Well, we're going to run it. All right, it doesn't have a BIOS folder, so I'm just going to tell it to cancel real quick. And that usually makes all of these necessary folders here. So I'm going to dump this newly dumped BIOS file into the BIOS folder and tell it to run again. Next, overwrite. And there we go. It found that BIOS file, but for some reason it shows up as a Japanese BIOS file instead of an English one. Not sure what that's about. It really doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things. Just a real interesting oddity in my mind, but... Whatever, I'm gonna select it, click finish, and then we can test it here by clicking on no disk and booting into the BIOS. And hey, look at that, it's a PS2 BIOS file, woo! Yay. Then we can be extra thorough, go back to ISO, and we can load up a game here. Let's see here. Load up Freedom Fighters. I always like loading up Freedom Fighters. But if the game boots... Hey! We know everything works. Cool. So this BIOS is ready for all of your PS2 emulation projects on PC, or if you do it on Xbox Series X or S. There you go. And there we go. A pretty straightforward way to get a PS2 Slim BIOS for all of your PS2 emulation needs. I love that this stuff has been updated so much for PS2 over the last couple of years. The scene for PS2 is so strong, so much great homebrew, emulation, just amazing scene, still going strong 20 years later, just fantastic. As always, if you happen to have any questions with these particular steps, feel free to ask me down in the comment section below. Again, I will not be able to troubleshoot your PS2 woes if you happen to have any. If you have a great working order PS2 Slim, this process should give you pretty much no trouble unless you have a uh, lower quality disc perhaps, but I will do what I can, but there are certain things I'm just not going to be able to answer for you because I don't have access to your hardware. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and call it there. So as always, thank you all so much for watching these videos. I'm hoping that they could be of help to all of you. That's all I'm really going for here. Really appreciate that um, they work for, they work well for a good number of you. I really am glad to hear that. More to come. <laughs> but now if you could all do me just a couple of favors if you haven't already be sure to hit that like or dislike button just depending on how much you like today's tutorial and if you haven't done so already hit that sub button so you can see when new videos like this reviews other random nonsense i like to come up with goes live goes a long way to helping out the growth of the place and we're super close to finally hitting our goals and uh oh man what a what a great stress relief that is <laughs> um anyway yes Thank you for that. Anyways, if you'd like to further help support the channel and see more content like this, um, or the tutorials or other things I do, be sure to check out that join button here on YouTube or the Patreon link in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen because a little bit really does go a long way to keeping us up and running. And just an, a huge shout-out to all of our current champions. You are really keeping us going. Thank you guys and gals and anything in between or outside of. Thank you all so much. We appreciate each and every one of you freaking kill it for us we just appreciate you all so much but until next time my wonderful internet peeps you all stay awesome and we'll see you back next video